Hi guys, it's Tabitha, and this video is going to be about just um, kind of my life, why I decided to do YouTube, how I got here kind of thing, and yeah, mom life, hashtag mom life, no makeup, messy hair, laundry on the couch, <laughs> and gonna try to wing it for my first video so becoming a mom we'll start there I became a mom at the age of 15 I got pregnant at 14 and I had my oldest son Aiden at 15 years old and I met my husband Robert when I don't know I was pregnant and um, we kind of just liked each other but we didn't know we liked each other and then um, he came to visit me after I had Aiden and a little bit after that we hung out a couple times and then we started dating when Aiden was two weeks old um, and Anyways, <laughs> and um, so we got married after I became pregnant with our third child, and so we have been together for almost nine years in November, and then um, we have been married six years as of May. Um, we now have five children, but we do want more. Um, we're not sure if we want one more or many more, but more is most likely in our future. Um, about three years ago, he joined the army and, um, <clears throat> that was kind of a hard time, rough patch, and, um, I just, four kids by myself for about seven months. And I had to pack our house, sell our house, and we moved to Texas from Michigan. And it was just a big change, but we're here and we're doing pretty good now. Um, the first, probably the first, first complete full year we were here, I did not want to be here, did not like it, wanted to go home. But it's getting better and... So a lot of people want to know army life, yay or nay. We are kind of in the middle. We don't know if he'll be getting out of the army. We don't know if he's going to stay. We're still kind of deciding on that. But I definitely feel like the first couple years were hard. Not that the rest of the time is not going to be hard. But I just feel like it's getting better so, we're kind of wishy-washy about it. We're not sure exactly. Um, so, the biggest part of my life is probably the next part. And that is homeschooling. Um, actually, when we lived in Michigan, Aiden did go to kindergarten twice. The first year of kindergarten was complete awful tears for both of us. And it was just really bad experience. The second year, he had a great teacher. We loved her. She was amazing, and he actually did really great. Um, but I feel like it was because of his teacher, not that he was going to succeed in school. Um, and getting a great teacher every single year is not going to be like 100% possible. Um, our girls did go to preschool for one year, but it was like Head Start, you know, they mostly just played, didn't learn a lot. <clears throat> um, and so when we moved here, um, I was thinking long term, we're going to be in the army for a long time and we're going to be moving around, bouncing around. And I always wanted to homeschool, but I never had the guts and I feel like 
moving and being in the army that kind of like gave me the push to like homeschool I always wanted to talk about it to like tons of other homeschooling moms and it was just a huge passion of mine but like I just I was so unsure I, I didn't want to be that mom that you know decide to homeschool and it didn't go well and then you had to put your kids back in school and they're behind and like you know that type of stuff was all going through my head so when we moved here um sorry i have a runny nose <laughs> when we moved here we just you know talked about it i asked my husband if you know if you're okay with this is it going to be a big deal and he said you know i support you 100 percent. it's up to you you know you're going to be the one home with the kids all the time and doing it and I mean not that he doesn't help he helps but he's gone a lot <laughs> so it was more up to me and so we homeschool because it's just what I wanted to do a lot of people assume because we're Christians that we homeschool because we don't I don't know I guess it's just a thing that people think is like <clears throat> big for Christians to do is to homeschool but just because we are Christians does not mean that's why we homeschool yes it does give us an opportunity to focus a lot on the Bible and bring a lot of um, a lot of um, different things into our homeschool that you know they don't teach in school but um for the most part, it's just been a huge passion of mine. And yes, there are things that I do think about with the schools that I just want to teach my kids what I want to teach it, when I want to teach it, when I think they should know certain things. And let's be honest, most kindergartners drop F-bombs and talk about sex already because it happened when Aiden was in kindergarten. And yeah, not for us, not going to happen. I'm not dealing with that stuff before I have to. I don't think kindergarten, you know, is a bad thing or, you know, I'm not, I'm not against public school. I was in public school my whole life. Um, I actually was homeschooled for one year, just didn't work out and, I mean, I was in school and it wasn't a big deal, but I just don't feel like for us and our family that that was what God had planned for us. It's just a big, 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 big passion of mine. And so we went with homeschooling. Now recently, my husband did deploy and um, he's going to be gone for about a year. Um, but before he had left, um, he had a month of training and I had a crazy brilliant idea that I am sick of being overweight. Yay! No, I have been sick of it for a while, but, um, I had weighed in at my heaviest weight and it kind of freaked me out. I had my day, I cried and ate more junk and whined about it and then I woke up and was like, I'm done. Bye bye. Also, I want to have more babies and I really want to do it at a healthier weight. So, fitness journey has begun and that month that he was in training, I lost 25 pounds ish, give or take a couple. It was around 25. And um, now he is gone and I'm down a total of 46 pounds. And so, I do think that that will be a part of this channel too. Um, just sharing like what I eat, what I exercise, and like when and how much and all that great stuff. And then um, when, I mean that will probably never be over, but when it's over um it'll more just be like how we live healthy um and 
why I thought YouTube was a good idea. My last point, because I feel like I've been talking forever in this video. It's probably going to be crazy. But, um, I get asked tons of questions. How do you do it? Have you lost your mind? Are you crazy? All kinds of things. Um, oh my, you have your hands full. If you notice in my description on the channel, that is like one of my favorite quotes. At the very bottom, it says, if you think my hands are full, you should see my heart. Because everyone assumes since you have a bunch of kids, like you are crazy and that you can't do anything and you're stuck in the house and that it's just like total chaos. Which, yes. Most days are crazy. Most days you don't fold laundry and put it away because you don't have time. And, you know, some days kids are really naughty and you don't leave the house. But for the most part, it is great. It is a great experience. I wouldn't change any of it for anything. I wouldn't change homeschooling. I wouldn't change having five kids. I wouldn't change being a stay-at-home mom. Um... So, I thought YouTube would be good because I get asked all kinds of things all the time. Like, what do you do for homeschooling? Let us see your homeschooling room. And how do you work out and how do you homeschool at the same time? And um, what's it like being an army wife? Da, 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 and just all kinds of questions. So, I thought YouTube channel. I've been thinking a lot about it because... I just kind of like to share different things and how we do different things, but I don't like to personally like talk one on one with people. Um, so I just felt like this would be a way for me to do that and to just kind of have fun and kind of like honestly be a stress reliever for me to just talk to myself, but talk to you because. You know, there's lots to talk about. We have a very busy life. But anyways, that is about it for my first video. I would love for you to post comments below and let me know. Like, if you want to know more about um, me and being a teen mom, you know, let me know. If you want to know more about homeschooling, fitness, <sighs> deployments, <laughs> or um, babies. I love babies, obviously. I've had five. Any advice for kids and babies and that type of thing? I feel like I know a little bit and I can share different tips and advice that has worked for me. So just different videos that you want to see or you think of an idea that I haven't already mentioned, just let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Have a nice day.